Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. First stop, bullet points. So the same storm with the cold front that's plowing through Wyoming and uh, Utah, dropping the snow levels will hit Colorado 414 to 415 with snow and colder air, helping to re-solidify, refreeze these snow packs after the snow level, the freezing level, was incredibly high for the last few days. Behind that, the pattern will reload. 416 to 419, and then another storm right on its heels, almost blending in with it, 419 to 421. Storm track with these will favor Pacific Northwest, Northern California, uh, BC, and the northern tier of states, so Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming, potentially with some downstream snow into Utah and Colorado. We'll look at that coming up in my forecast. Uh, my first stop is my blog, chrystomer.com. Take a look at it, pattern through end of April. And check this out. Nick Green sent me this photo. Look at how dirty the snowpack is. I, I, I talked about this yesterday, explained what it is and the importance of it, and you can really see it right here. That's at Aspen. Thanks, Nick, for that uh, photo. Uh, freezing level forecast. So today we were all the way down to 6,100 feet in the Wasatch, hoping to re-solidify. Uh, tomorrow, 7,100, and then the levels jump. They, they jump back up. 416 to 417, back to 11.3 and 11.7. In the central uh, mountain zone of Colorado, still high today, but then they'll fall, the levels fall on Friday and Saturday with that snow coming in and that cold front, and then they jump right back up, 13,000 on 417. So the heat surges back. Forecast pattern. All right, this is a really interesting part of this presentation. So um, the jet from this morning looked like this. Let me show you what it looks like this afternoon. Totally different. This is important because, like I showed you yesterday, will we see a trough of low pressure develop off the west coast and bring active weather um, and cool weather along the west coast? This forecast shows that that's possible. And I've already talked about how active it's going to be through probably the 22nd. Will we see that pattern continue beyond the 22nd? That's the question. And here's the latest indication. This is from um, the American Model Ensemble for the 24th. This indicates, yes, that active pattern with precipitation and cool weather continues across the West Coast through the 24th. Then, after that, the end of the month, this is on the 28th, 29th, that pattern may break. And there's a little bit of high pressure ridging indicated here, again, from the American Ensemble. Um, you can see that by the, with the brighter yellows across the West Coast. So the pattern will remain active through the 24th, and then it breaks, and it appears as though some high pressure starts to build in for the end of April. Okay, let's go back to the blog. Um, so I went through that forecast through the end of April. Now timing, I'll take this full. Forecast radar and satellite. Here's Friday morning, uh, snow moving through Colorado, and there's still some left over into Saturday morning, and then it's gone. Pattern reloads, Pacific Northwest, BC, Northern California, Northern Tier. Everybody starts to see the snow there, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and it continues into Tuesday, 418. And like I said, there's another small storm behind this that will cruise in right on its heels and run us all the way into the 22nd. And potentially there's another storm into the 24th. All right, forecast totals. Those are my numbers from this morning. Let me go into my afternoon update numbers. Rest of today through the 15th, there's your snow in Colorado, three to eight inches of snow on the way. Not much elsewhere with that. Um, okay, map two, period two, 416 to 422. This is the active pattern that drops snow from the Pacific Northwest, BC, into the northern tier. Um, so we're looking at probably a foot, Tahoe North, a foot up in the Pacific Northwest, a foot over Brundage, a foot for the Tetons, a foot in Big Sky, and there may be some downstream snow for the Wasatch and in the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Not sure how much yet. Um, those are very general early numbers. But um, it does look like we're going to have to put down some decent snow here for um, uh, Calif Northern California into the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Tier 
with this type of pattern running through the 22nd and probably through the 24th. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.